Hey, sir, they're here for you. Wake up. Come on. Better look lively, sir. Your chariot awaits, as they say. Right. You got everything, yeah? Oh, wait, sir. This page must have fallen under your bunk while you slept. You can't go leaving without that now, can we? I hope you don't mind my saying so, sir, but I bloody hope you know what you're doing with this tank business. If these plans aren't good, they'll think you're just trying to get away from the front like that Captain Blackadder from down by. They'd have your guts for garters and, well, you deserve better than that in my book, at least, sir. You're right, sir. Sorry, sir. I really do need to learn to hold my tongue, don't I, sir? All I really mean to say is, well, good luck, all right? I hope they give you a fair hearing is all. Take care, sir. And remember to get a bath while you're at Division HQ. At least one of us around here won't have to smell like shit for a day or two. They could use you as an air freshener. So, you're the one with the tank design proposal, eh? Very jolly good, sir. Just take a seat in the back of the lorry. I'll soon have you back at the Division HQ. I warn you, though, the mud is quite shocking at the moment. Could take a little longer than usual, but I know a good route, sir. Leave it to me. Sir, Colonel Ells will see you now. Come in. Well, don't just stand there. Take a seat. We haven't got all day. Well, you might, but I have a command to be getting back to. Field Marshal Haig, however, seems to think I have nothing better to do than spend the winter traipsing across the front to look at tank designs scribbled on the back of grubby cigarette papers by the likes of people who think they know better than the inventor of the bloody tank himself. <sighs> Sorry, not your fault. Not your fault at all. When I started this process, I was encouraged that engineering minds in the trenches were applying themselves to the business of developing the tank, but I confess, the last six weeks have worn the whole matter rather thin for me. Anyway, as I said, we don't have all day. Show me what you've been working on. Your CO's letter makes it out to be the eighth wonder of the bloody world. Oh, near as damn it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I'm a soldier, not an engineer, at the end of the day, so it's not for me to say, but it has been my job to serve as a liaison between Marshal Haig and the Tank Supply Committee from the get-go, and I do see potential. So, what happens next, then, eh? Well, first off, I have to bring you down to Earth a little. You see, not only are you the 14th engineer with a tank design concept that I have visited since November, so your design has competition, you should also be aware that an improvement on the Mark I is already in the pipeline. The proposed Mark IV is superior in almost every regard, and has been developed precisely to address the issues encountered by the Mark I, based on real combat experience. So, if you really think you've got a war-winning tank design in your head, it's going to have to be good, very good. The Mark IV is a straight upgrade of the Mark I. Extensive tooling and training methods can simply be carried over. The army can ill afford to switch production and training to a completely new design, therefore, unless its combat capabilities exceed that of the proposed Mark IV, preferably by some considerable margin. Here is a copy of the proposed specification for the Mark IV. You will memorise it, and then destroy it. You will show it to no one, understood? It is not feasible to procure different engines or guns for this project. Your design must use the same QF six pounder Hotchiss gun and the same Daimler Forster six cylinder sixteen litre petrol engine. Furthermore, I'm afraid you don't have much time. You see, the Mark IV is already in development, and we can't afford to wait any longer on a new design, even if it should prove superior. Therefore, to catch up, you will need to send me complete blueprints for your new design within a fortnight. To that end, you are hereby granted temporary leave to return home. Hopefully, being reunited with whatever drafting, workshop or factory facilities you may have access to there will expedite your design process. Failure to return a design within the time will be treated as desertion of duty, mark me, so don't muck about, all right? You're still a member of the active service personnel, after all. Once I have received your blueprints, I intend to arrange a meeting with the tank supply committee. They will select the most promising-looking designs. Meanwhile, you will return to the front and await further instructions. If your design is selected, we will be in touch about production of a prototype and further testing. Any questions? Well, if you do come up with any, you're permitted to send me a telegram directly. I'll do my best to answer promptly.
if Haig will let me spend a moment at my own bloody desk, that is. <sighs> well, good luck, I suppose. You are dismissed.